Philadelphia, a developing story in the race for district attorney. Incumbent Larry Krasner, a Democrat, has defeated Republican challenger Charles Peruto. Here are the numbers. Krasner 69% and Peruto 30%. 88% of the precincts have reported. Joe Holden is live at Krasner campaign headquarters in Center City. Hi, Joe. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Yuki. Very quiet here for the moment. The party still continues, but Larry Krasner exited the hotel just about 20 minutes ago after greeting his supporters, talking about the momentum and heading into a second term. The district attorney also talked about initiatives he is looking forward to introducing. Questions about the gun crimes and homicide rates in the city uh, were asked of him. He says he's looking forward to continuing to find solutions to this very difficult cultural problems, but he is also hopeful that he can bridge the gap with fellow Democratic leaders in the city of Philadelphia. So first, we're going to hear from the district attorney and then his challenger, Charles Peruto. We have already done a retreat within the office in which we have considered policies from other jurisdictions. We have a strong policy team. We have a criminologist and we have a data team. And we have broken down into several subgroups that are studying those different ideas. We will be prepared by the new year to announce an agenda, hopefully a four-year agenda. The city chose what it, where it wants to go, what it wants to be, what it wants to do. So who am I to say to stop them? I mean, if, that, if that's what they want, that's what they want. And we are back live here inside the Sinesta Hotel. Larry Krasner actually uh, doing a bit of a, an about face and a surprise. He is still here in the hotel. We know for, for hours he was watching the returns from a conference room just outside of the room I am standing in. Part of his message to, to his supporters, though, and I quote, he says his campaign was a movement led by black, brown, and broken people. Again, the district attorney telling us tonight it will be probably in January when we learn of a fresh set of initiatives that will take him through, he says, his four years. For now, though, that is the story live in the Sinesta Hotel in Center City. This is Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Joe, thank you.